So now I have a piece of bread. I'm going to go in a second. A single egg. Cheese. I'm going to start off by scrambling an egg. I just want to scramble it real quick in my bowl. I jump over here to my skillet, put about a mm, couple teaspoons of butter in there. Get my heat going about medium. Melt in there. While my butter is melting, I'm going to go ahead and butter one side of my bread. Realistically, when you run through the drive through you're getting maybe a half a piece of cheese, a single egg, and they usually have some kind of bleach flour bun that they're putting it on or you pay a little extra and get the croissant or what have you. So while I buttered the bread, my butter in my pan has pretty much melted. I'm going to make sure the whole bottom is coated real nice. And there goes our egg. Right there in the pan. I'm going to let that cook for just a few seconds. It doesn't take very long. I'm going to get my slice of cheese ready. Because we are trying to see how fast we can do this and how much time we can save. I did figure it out though. If you spend $2 on cheese, $2 on bread, $2 on eggs, and $2 on butter, which would make about 10 sandwiches, that's $8.00. So we're looking at anywhere from 65 to 80 cents to make a sandwich at home and take it with you. Now one of the things I would suggest would be if you are going to take it with you, grab a paper towel and a little piece of wax paper because you don't want it dripping on you in the car and you don't want to be all nasty and greasy or what have you when you get to work. So I'm going to set up a sheet of a paper towel and a small piece of wax paper. So my egg's done. Doesn't take very long. And while it's, before it's uh, completely out of the pan, I should probably put a little salt and pepper on it. A little salt. A little pepper. Probably should have done that before I flipped it, but that's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. So now, so I have a paper towel. A piece of wax paper and here's my egg. So I'm going to leave that egg on my spatula for a second. My I've already buttered my bread. I'm going to split the cheese in half because this is going to fold over and we're going to have kind of a little bit like a grilled cheese. And now we're going to put the egg back on our sandwich. Our egg is still warm, so it's going to help bring the, the heat down on that cheese. This is not processed cheese. This is cheddar cheese. Processed cheese is okay in a pinch, but um, if I'm going to use a slice of processed cheese, I usually use that for a cheese sauce because it's quick and easy and tastes pretty good over broccoli. Let's check. Mm, there we go. 
I'm going to fold this in half. Oh, nice and brown. It's a nice light golden brown. You go ahead and cook it to whatever you want. That is almost where I would like it. I'm, I like it just a little touch more than that, I think. Oh, that's almost perfect. Turn the heat off because that's pretty good for me. So our sandwich is done. I've got it on the wax paper. I'm just going to kind of fold that wax paper and then fold the paper, the paper towel over it so that if I'm heading out the door, I can it can stay nice and warm for a minute. Other than that, I'm just going to pick it up and eat it as so. With the wax paper, you're going to help keep your hands a little cleaner. And that's one of the conveniences to a fast food place is their paper is already got a wax lining to it. Mm. Okay. Um, so you're going to keep your hands cleaner. I just checked the time, and it was just under five minutes to do everything from beginning to end.